I'm craving the toy. Actually, I fucked that up. Here, I'll just let you do it, man. No, no, you do it. All right, all right, we'll do it like this. Chris Glass from Craving the Toy Hunt, and I'm with none other than All Ego Eat the Page, also known as Ethan the Toy Hunter. Yes. So wait, is your name Craven for real? No, no, it's Chris. Yeah, but I'm I call it. I'm him. not. I also don't look like Craven. Yeah, well, you kind of got the mustache gimmick going on. Uh, it kinda. is detached. I mean, yeah. It's very Johnny Depp, a yeah. la Pirates of the Caribbean. It's Johnny Depp yeah. also hunts for booty, but we don't. We yeah. hunt for toys. What and you're that? watching Craven the Toy Hunt. Yes. Right? Beautiful. Come on. Beautiful. It's almost like I do this for a living. Yeah, you would think, right? <laughs> Dude, what is that? Rise and shine, everybody. It is a new week. That means it's time for a brand new hunt. I am about to go pick up two buddies. This is gonna be a fun one. Uh, my two favorite Eric's. Eric McDonough, buddy Eric Fates. It's gonna be the first time he's been on the show. I'm looking forward to this. We're going to Lexington because Toy Vomit, Toy Headquarters, um, whatever you wanna call them, uh, they're putting on a uh, toy convention. So, all ego Ethan Page is gonna be there. Dan Housen's gonna be there. Try a little something. Maybe for Dan has a sign. Thought that, but thought that might be kind of cool. All in all, should just be a great time, man. Let's roll. We're in Lexington. At what is it? It's Toy Vomit's thing. Toy headquarters. Toy show. Looking at T L Hopper. Brand. And I'm look. I'm here with my two favorite Eric's. That Eric and that Eric. Hell yeah. Good man, how are you dude? Good. Already walked out with a handful of shit. Eric's already picked up a bunch of shit. He picked up some good stuff already. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the meet and greet with Dan Housen and Ethan Page. I'm gonna get that signed.
out to Toy Vomit and uh, Vegan Super Kit. Toy convention you guys put on today was outstanding. Had a great time. Had a great time with uh, both of my buddies. Both of them, ironically, named Eric. Um, I wish I would have shown what they got because they both snacked some pretty cool stuff. It was so so cool after all this time of being a fan of both uh, Danhausen and Ollie Go Ethan Page to actually meet those guys. Uh, while I was walking around, I ran into um, Sean Ross Sapp from Fightful. If you guys know anything about like. Um, uh, breaking wrestling news, Sean Ross Sapp is a dude who breaks it. All right, enough of this and that. Uh, we'll go ahead and talk about what I got. Ended up getting a uh, Jungle Demon Predator, uh, big Predator fan, and they had this there. Um, I think this one was 30 bucks. I wasn't gonna pass up on it. Anytime I go to these cons, uh, I find a lot of Predator figures there. And um, being such a big Predator fan, like I said, I wasn't gonna pass, pass this up. I love the box that it came in. Um, I have... Actually, the more I look at this, I think I only have one uh, Predator um, in my collection that is in this type of box. I have boxes that have the front uh, flap open. I have a lot of the cards, uh, but nothing like this. Back of the box looks awesome. Talks about the rest of them from the lineup there. And just all around a, a great figure. Oh, real quick, I met Danhausen. I've had this uh, Ben Cooper style Danhausen mask. And I went ahead and had him sign it. You can see in the picture that um, I'm holding this up because uh, that's what I had him sign. I had a choice to get uh, these uh, micro brawlers signed possibly. And uh, I think, oh shit, I looked at this. That's Papa Shango, <laughs> it's not Dan Housen. Like I said, I thought this was super cool. He and I had a conversation about this piece because I told him, I said, what a great idea to go with a Ben Cooper style um, Halloween mask for merchandise for him. And he actually said this is his least favorite piece of merchandise he had because it was the biggest pain in the ass. I told him I loved it. He was glad to hear that. He was uh, way cool to sign this. That's actually uh, um, that's actually Ethan Page's uh, pen. Who also bought a, uh, but it's a Doomsday Builder figure. A uh, guy had this there for, uh, I think this was 35 bucks too. It's a good looking figure. It's heavy, has some good weight to it. Uh, it's gonna go great with the rest of my DC figures. Then I got two wrestlers. Uh, the figures I bought are just to go with my uh, this new generation ring that I have. So first I bought a um, Steve Austin Ringmaster. Comes with, uh, my buddy Eric Faye pointed out, he's wearing the dark green tights, actually. I thought they were black, but um, when he came out, that's what he was wearing. Side of the box, looking like uh, Bruce Willis in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> this is part of, uh, I think it was a Toys R Us exclusive. It was a WWE Spotlight. Uh, 30 bucks is what they had on it. And I bought this. And this Hunter Hearst Helmsley figure. I thought that was pretty cool. There's that side of the box. There's the back of the box. So we got the um, new generation. So I got the early incarnation of Triple H, the early incarnation of Steve Austin. It'll go great with uh, the new generation because um, that's basically, uh, they came around right before the Attitude Era came around. So I was like, I'm trying to, the goal today was to find figures that would, uh, go uh, appropriate with that and I plan on opening them so anyway uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video again big shout out to uh, all ego Ethan page for uh, bringing this video in pleasure to meet you Dan has a pleasure to meet you Sean Rassap very cool to meet you uh, sorry if I interrupted your uh, your toy hunting but uh, thanks for taking your time out to take a picture with me new to the channel like subscribe comment do all that fun stuff and until next time we'll just catch you down the road